Alrighty, so we're live on Twitch. We're doing this. So whoever's watching this on YouTube, you know, sorry you couldn't make it. Link is down below in the description for the Twitch channel. But so that's why if you guys see why it's so long, it is pretty long. This video will be pretty long. Also, I'll probably be looking over to my left. You guys is right. Looking at chat, see what they're talking about from time to time. So with that being said, we're going to be hopping into this live rebuild with the Astros. And let's just let's just get into it. So as you guys know, um, we'll turn GM contracts off because for this one, just because it's going to be live, I'm going to be aiming for three to four years compared to five years. Just because if we do five years, we'll be here for like all night. So we're going to manually do everything as we usually do. I hop straight into the regular season. And let's just take a look at the roster, see what we're working with to start with. So, lineup-wise, I mean, the thing is, Yuli Gurriel is is not bad, but for two years, I guess his contract goes down. It's not terrible. Um, Jose Altuve is definitely, we're going to keep him. Michael Brantley's a player for two years. I'm fine with keeping him. He continuously hits close to 300, and for a left fielder, it's not terrible. George Springer, I don't want to trade away. Jordan Alvarez is going to be our right fielder. Bregman in third. DH, Alemis Diaz never does well. So we'll probably try to trade him. Um, just try to get something in return. Correa is not going anywhere. He develops unreal, unreally fast, like just incredibly fast. It's crazy how fast he develops and just turns into a like MVP, 40 home run uh, a year player. And then we got Robinson Chirinos, who you'll be lucky to get like 250 out of him average wise. He'll hit home runs, but that's about it. Reddick needs to be traded because I don't want to pay him $13 million a year. That's just too much for the next two years. And then when you look at these guys, it's just kind of just kind of meh. So let's take a look pitching staff-wise. We got Verlander, who, hmm, three years. I'll keep him this year, but next year I'll probably trade him. Garrett Cole will try to keep him. Lance McCullers will see. I don't have too much success with McCullers. He either does really, really well for the CPU or really, really poorly for me. And then we definitely need a four or five. And then the bullpen, maybe Framber Valdez will keep. And then Will Smith, he decreases pretty quickly. So he's like a one-year player. And then we have Osuna. Josh James sometimes develops quickly. Um, Chris Davinsky needs to be called up. I don't know why he's in AAA. And then we have a couple prospects to look forward to. So we definitely will be will be set for starting pitchers for the future. Most likely. Let's call him up. He's probably really upset that he wasn't in the majors. That's why his rating's so low. And then we'll call down. Um Is there anybody in the lineup we could call down that we don't really need? I guess Framber Valdez, but I don't know if I should. He's young. I'd, I'd rather just let him develop, but it's, it's whatever. We'll send him back down to AAA. So budget-wise, let's take a look really quick, see what our budget's working with. So we got Verlander, Altuve. Like, the thing is, a lot of these players are getting paid a lot. So we're going to have a limited budget to work with for Season 1. And then we got to be smart moving forward, too, because... Altuve's getting paid a lot. Bregman's getting paid a lot. George Springer. Um, Guriel's up there. Ryan Presley's even quite a bit. So, luckily we do have quite a few players whose contracts run out this year. So, we could find, like, different players to pay. But this one's the big one. This one's going to hurt us a lot if we don't trade him after this year. On top of the fact that he'll probably decrease in rating. So... We'll, we'll figure this out. So Josh Reddick is definitely on my trade list right now. So let's uh, let's do this really quick. Let's get him out. Not him. Definitely him. And then when you look at what we need, we need a four and five because these two just aren't good enough. So let's just throw. Mm, I don't think Miley is the one I want to throw in there, unfortunately. Um, I guess we could throw a Miss Diaz in. And see if we can get a pitcher. 
Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Pitching wise, who is normally someone I would try to acquire? Um, let's see. Yeah, budget's gonna be another issue too, because Josh Reddick is making thirteen million. Zach Wheeler, I don't really want Zach Wheeler. Jared Eikhoff, again, don't really want that. So, man, this is it's kind of an issue. Just that 13 million is making it difficult to trade. Um, do I really want to try Taiwan Walker? That, that literally might be like my only option to work with here. Um, yeah, I see, I see keep Corbin Martin. Yeah, I'll probably keep the pitching prospects for now. Steven Duggar really doesn't develop. Travis Swaggerty. I know about Travis Swaggerty. It's just we don't need a center fielder. George Springer's too good to trade away. Um, Hyunjin is just uh, that's going to require too much to trade for. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's that 13 million that's making it really difficult to trade him away. And when you look at other players who I want, I don't really want Marcus Stroman. Uh, Yamamoto. He's on a really small contract, so that's going to be difficult to do unless I would have to add him. And then I'd have to add in a, a prospect. I could throw in Jake Marisnik. Jake Marisnik would do it, and I'm assuming Wei Yin Chen would do it as well. So let me let me see really quick. Usually there is when the waivers end. So. TGIF, I mean, and welcome it, to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL West, the I Seattle Mariners mind. defeated the A's in Oakland 8-3. And that's what's happening around the baseball world heading into today. In reality, Join I us again really tomorrow for the like latest from around Major League away. Baseball. Um, Because he's currently our fourth outfielder. So, let me just see if that trade with the Marlins does work. And then we'll... We'll go from there. All right. And then I threw in Marisnik. It does work. Um, I guess we can move Kyle Tucker up, make him hit our, our fourth. And then we just rock with Jordan Yamamoto. Yeah, let's just let's go with it. That'll be the first trade. And then we'll just go from there. Okay, so Wade Miley needs to be traded. Lol, Bengal, lol. All right. Turn down the inside of the show. Here, I'll do that. Ho oh, ho! Why was that so high? Mm. Okay. Man, why did that reset so high? So when did I get drowned out, King Ducky? When did you not hear me, basically? Oh, when I simmed? Was that, that it? Like that small period? I murdered your eardrums. That was it. I mean I can I can cut that part out so you don't have to worry about it. Alright, cool. Alright. It's sh you sh you shouldn't hear it anymore, so if you do it'll be really quiet. Alright, so we got our pictures sorted. Brad Peacock's fine for a season. And then we need to trade Wei Yin Chen for whatever we can do. You still can't hear me? I'm sorry, what?
yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later if that was the issue. I can just cut it out. Yeah. It's really the only trade I can do. All right, I don't want Wei Yin Chen because he's got a three-year contract. Because with the White Sox, I'm pretty sure John Jay has a multi-year deal. I uh, just made you deaf for a little bit so you couldn't hear. All right. All right, we can take John Jay for a season. I don't want Cano either. All right, so I said I wanted to trade Wade Miley. I did say I wanted to get Kyle. I want to call Kyle Tucker up. And then let's just trade Wade Miley, and that'll probably be it for the first season. We'll keep it simple. Um, and just not make too many changes, especially since, I mean, going forward, we're not going to have too much space either. Um, Bobby Bradley. I might take Bobby Bradley. All right, that's the first, that's the next trade. The thing is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to freak out about pitching prospects just yet. Um, maybe if they start to fall apart, like if they don't, if they don't develop, then I'll start worrying about them. But for right now, I'll be okay. Robinson Chirinos' contract ends at the end of the year, so I'm not going to worry about a catcher just yet. Um, yeah, for a season, Robinson Chirinos will be fine. And then when you look at the rest, it's it's not the biggest of deal. Um, I'm pretty sure Tyler White just got traded, right? All right. Looking at this, I'm fine. Probably could use another middle infielder. We'll get to that in a second. Um... Ah, uh, man. I don't really want to do this, but Carlos Asuaje is fine for a year. All right, get Hunter Bishop. No, Danny Jansen. I could probably try to get Danny Jansen next season. Harrison Bader, mm. burn all the second baseman. Yeah, we'll be all right for now. All right, so lineup wise, I forgot we had John Jay. That's just not good at all. <laughs> it's just not good at all. Um, you you know you know things are going bad when you got John Jay in your your major league roster. Mm. Mm hmm. That's not good. Narvaez is possible. That's definitely an option. Um, we got to make a trade. Unfortunately, I didn't want to, but we got to figure something out here. Yeah. Jordan can play first. He plays the outfield too. But I just don't want John Jay there. And I feel like we need an extra, like, an extra bat. Lourdes Guriel. It's going to be difficult. Um, Villanueva. Let's just do it for a year. And then we'll send John Jay down. All right, so that that's just what we'll work with for season one. We'll keep it simple. Um, I mean, usually the Astros are good anyways, so I'm not freaking out about it. Jordan Alvarez will develop, and most of the lineup will hit close to 300. So, Jordan or Jorge Alfaro is the best catcher. Okay, 
All right, Nick Senzel, maybe. Austin Meadows, possible. So, all right. This is what we're going to work with for season one. We don't have a lefty. That's why I keep Framber, because we don't have a lefty. Oh, well. We'll make it work for a season. Mm. Let's... I guess we didn't really need the extra hitter. Or the extra... Yeah. All right. Scouts-wise, let's take a look at our scouts. International scout. It's not really better than that guy. I would have preferred him, actually. West. West is good. We need we need a central scout. And an east. But the east scouts are pretty bad, so I'm not even going to try it. So, coaches. All right, he needs to get fired because he's not good. Yeah, we'll give him a shot. We'll do two years. And then what else do we need here? A new third base coach because that guy's not good. We'll just do two years for this guy too. All right, so scouting-wise, one of these guys needs to go. One of the international scouts needs to go to the east. So we at least get someone there. And then he's good with position players. We're kind of low on catchers that are really good. So I want power and fielding for my catcher. We'll just go infield here. Out. We'll try pitching here. Command. And then he's good with pitchers too. We'll go clutch. Clutch gives us relievers. Command gives us high per nine um, pitchers. So I usually go a couple weeks at a time. For scouts, as we start off four and five, not the best. So you drafted a ninety-nine potential starter. That's pretty good. Um, we'll send him to the outfield, and I did clutch here. Let's go. We'll figure something out. It's not good. I'll figure it out in a second why things aren't going too well so let's go lefty with some clutch here um, we just did a bunch of catchers let's look for some outfielders contact and fielding um, we'll send him on a, ca a catcher mission and then we've done pitchers twice here so we'll send him to the east for I guess we could look for more catchers we'll do con okay infielders contact and fielding so we'll do that I'll just send him out again on a week. Actually, we'll do two weeks. All right, 15 and 12 now. It's not terrible. All righty, so we're going through this. This guy looks pretty good. He's got some power. So this is kind of another part that takes a little bit longer for um, – the rebuilds this and free agency are like the two longest parts of rebuilds just because i have to like just scroll through everything so i usually go about five days for these all right it's a good string of games i'm lagging i shouldn't be yeah i don't it might it might have it might just be on your end but I'm not calling you I mean I'm not saying that you're wrong or anything but I didn't get any notifications that I'm lagging so it's only 70 all right let's go another four days five days as usual so I appreciate all you guys stopping by it looks like the team's starting to heat up now um ooh, if he actually stays that highly rated it looks like we have a new first baseman left field I doubt that guy will stay that highly rated that guy's a good fielder it's not a bad little pickup and same with that left fielder 
So basically what I'm looking for are, are normally a little bit higher stats to start with to begin like at the beginning. So if I'm looking at my scouting, um, well, let's take a look. That's still not bad. 75 potential. He'll be a later pick. So like right here, I'm looking at him. He's got good arm strength. He's got good speed. I like that. His power is a little low. I usually want it at least in the 40s. Um, so we'll, we'll wait on him. Obviously, 75 overall is a dream. That would be amazing. I don't think it's going to be that high, but I'll still scout him anyways. Um, why did that just... There we go. So next, once I finish all these scouts, I'll... Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look here. Okay, so that guy's not really that good. So let's take a look. No one really looks good so far. He's got good speed. That's about it. Um, so this guy. This guy's high rated because he's got a little bit of power. He's got good fielding, arm strength, arm accuracy reactions, and good speed. So if he holds his 70 overall rating, now all we have to worry about is his contact numbers going up, right? So that's really the only thing you need to worry about. And hope that it actually happens. Um, he's not bad. He's got some power. Um, why don't I have a West Scout? I have a West Scout. I don't have an East Scout. That's what I don't have. And it was just because the East Scout was atrocious. So that's why I don't have one. Uh, let's see what this pitcher is. 70 potential. Yikes. Basically, I'm just flying through this so you guys don't have to, like, just sit here and do it. Um, it's This is another part that just takes forever for rebuilds, like I've said. It's just, it's just tough. He doesn't look bad. So, for pitchers, you usually want at least 50s. For their current stats in the per nines or high 40s. Um, but if you can find high 40s, low 50s, even 60s, that's really good to get. Man, most of these are pretty rough. I mean, we're 34 and 22, so we've definitely, like, gotten a lot better. It's just, can we keep it up? And who are we going to have to get rid of because they're doing poorly? Because there's there's definitely someone that's doing poorly because we wouldn't have gotten off to a, that bad start. Otherwise. Um... All right, we got the draft in a week. If we could not lose games, that would be great. Your best draft pick ever was 72 overall with 94 potential. That's not bad. That's not bad. Ooh, these guys are bad. All right, so the closer can stay. The rest need to go. So oh, it's going to change. Let's see. He looks decent. And then we need... One more, and that'll take us to the the draft day. We'll just sim to it. That's not a good little string of games there. All right, so we're going to have a late pick because we're the Astros. We're the 29th. Um, all right. It's a little disappointing. I wonder if that one guy that I wanted was gone. He's there... I don't really want to take him first pick though. McDermott's not bad. He's not bad either. His power is not there, but he, at least he's got a good bat. The thing is, we don't really need outfielders. Um, what was that first baseman? Uh, it was the third baseman. He was good. He's good. 
There's a couple good players that went. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of them. This was the one I wanted, though. Just really consistent across the board with stats. Same with Kibblehouse. Some good players there. So what I'm going to do is... Um, we don't need a left fielder. I guess we'll just take the pitcher. Be safe with it. We were sick yesterday. Man, that sucks. That sucks. Being sick sucks. Have I ever drafted someone and had them go far enough to the Hall of Fame? I have not. Um, I have not. I have not. All right, is that left fielder still here? He is not. That sucks. Someone drafted him. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to guess now. So for guessing, basically, if they say they're like 75 overall or 80 overall, you'll be very lucky if they actually are. Like really lucky if that happens. For the most part, what you want, let's see if I can find one that I'm like, okay, I like what this guy has so i'm looking at this guy right here his current stats all around you know 50s 55 his projected stats are what 70 75s so what you're really looking at with this player is you're probably looking at like a high 70s potential player he's probably sitting in the low 60s maybe low 50 or high 50s so i mean it's it's not a terrible player to pick up it's just he's not he's not going to be like a an amazing draft pick this guy it's not going to be good because he's 80. It says he's 80 overall currently. Um, I'm going to take a shot with this guy. We'll see. The stamina is bad. It's 61. If anything, you can make him a long reliever, right? That's that's not a terrible thing to do with starters who have bad um, stamina. You can just make him a long reliever. You know? And so I saw someone that just kept saying, can you add me or can I add you on PlayStation? The thing is, if I start doing that, if I start playing online with people, then I have to do it with everybody. And it's just it's just not fair. So that's why I don't do it. a chance with this guy too you have a twins where you've gone super far with it yeah it's just the amount of franchise that i play it's kind of hard to play outside of making videos that's just the one issue with it mm. kendrick mitchell tree what a name what a name let's see if there's any outfield players left there aren't there's this guy but i don't think he's gonna be good He's going to be like 49 overall. There's just no point in picking that guy up. Um, We're kind of kind of just guessing at this point. I'll try Kendrick Mitchell tree. Do I scout every single time? Uh, for rebuilds, yes, I do. Um, we'll take a shot with one of these guys. I mean, he's probably the be better option. You have a Mitchell tree in your front yard. Jeez. All right, let's take a look, see what we did here. For first two, pretty solid. First two, pretty solid. The rest, not that great. Pretty, pretty bad. I was kind of hoping this guy was going to be better. His contact numbers kind of led me astray. I didn't realize he was that bad of a fielder. So that's kind of a bad pick on my part. But McDermott's good. Um, so that's good. We got Venner. He's really good. That's a good pickup too. Um, Corey Walden's not bad for a late pick. But outside of that, it's pretty lackluster. He's 73. We'll sign him just because. And then this guy just, he's out. All right, so at this point, I usually just 
go straight forward with it. Um, we're losing quite a few games. I don't like that. So that's that's not good. I don't we can't we can't be losing games like this. Hmm. So either our bullpen's really bad or our starters are really bad because I I'm noticing we're scoring a lot of runs. I don't want to see your trade offer. Um either we're cuz we're scoring a lot of runs and it's not going well. So one of the two is just doing horribly. So Verlander sucks. Okay. McCullers is bad. I mentioned that he usually just doesn't do well. So overall, pretty disappointed in the bullpen. Our starting rotation. And the bullpen looks a little suspect too. So let's call up Framber Reyes. And then let's take a look at our bench. Our bench is pretty poor. Yuli Gurriel should not be hitting second. That's a mistake on my part. Um, Yuli Gurriel should not be at this point in the lineup. That's just me not paying attention to things. Um, first lefties, we'll put Correa up there. George Springer usually does well against lefties too, though. So what we'll do is this. Um, yeah, we'll kind of rock with something like this. So... Let's just go back to how we were looking. I mean, yeah, it's it's the pitching. It really is the pitching that is uh, becoming an issue. So let's see what we can get. I do want to bring back Garrett Cole um, just because he's unreal for s simming. Um... See if I can bring it down a little bit. See if I can get him down. To that. Uh, all right. He probably just got to go about three quarters of the way. Increase the salary. Of course. Of course. All right. So we got that. And then now. Let's just trade some of these, these pitchers. Because clearly they're just they're just not good enough. So we need a lefty. So we'll call up Framber uh, Valdez. He's looking like he's having a good year. So we could always we're just gonna have to figure out who to get rid of. So who's been doing poorly? All right. Chris Davinsky normally does so well. So what is his issue? His contract and his performance. That's really what's hurting him. Okay. Let's put Presley in the setup role. Um. So who's getting who's getting getting rid of? Uh, we're gonna get rid of McHugh. We're gonna get rid of McCullers and Peacock. We'll let Verlander finish out the season. Um. So to start with, let's get rid of Peacock. Let's find a new starter. Mm, yeah, because none of our starters are going to be ready next year. Um. Wow, Clevenger's bad. Turnbull, not good. Michael Fulmer. Mm -mm. Good old Mike Fires. Why would why would he be so highly rated? Uh wait. Okay. That's not bad. What's his contract? That's not terrible. I'll take that. That is not bad at all. That's actually a really good deal. Um McHugh needs to go. And then who else did I say? McHugh and McCullers. So McCullers should have decent trade value. So let's find let's find somebody else. 
Okay, you're pretty low rated, so that's not good. Kyle Hendricks. He does. It's just I don't really want to add another giant contract on top of what we already have. Because at some point, we're going to have to pay somebody. We have arbitration there. Oh, man. At some point, we're going to have to pay somebody. And that's what I'm worried about. I don't really want a five-year, $13 million contract if I don't have to. Someone got John Means, and he sucks, unfortunately. Normally, he does really well, so I don't understand what the deal is there. Um, Lance Lynn, don't really want that. Looking at these, I just don't want any of... Yoni Chirinos could get that. That's a straight trade right there. Um, Domingo Herman, we could get him. Is he going to be good, though? That's the thing. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Domingo Herman might be might be the trade that I make. John Morosi bomb. What's the John Morosi bomb? Interesting. Stroman to the Mets, really. All right, how's John Gray doing? Not terrible. For some reason, he does really well in franchise, even though he sucks in real life. Ooh, hold on. This might be the move. And we can get somebody else. A lefty. This might be the move right here. We'll take that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we got our st starting five. And then I said I wanted to trade somebody in the bullpen. Or I just wanted to use somebody else. I think McHugh's going to sit in the the minors for the year. Yeah. And then we'll bring up Valdez. And that, that really should be it. Marquez over here. Marquez over here. Pull him up. Garrett Cole will be our ace. Valdez will be here. And we should be fine. And then looking at the lineup. It's it's a, it's a solid lineup. Really, the only change I would make is Yuli Gurriel because he's going down in rating. And morale is really the only thing that's keeping him up. How's this first baseman doing? 72? Mm. I don't even think we could get anybody else. Could we get like CJ Crone for a year? Not even that's not even a close trade either. Um We need somebody and I don't know what we're gonna get here. Hmm. Tyler Nevin. Yeah, I don't think man, I don't even know who we could get for you, Lee Goriel. Oh, now Strom is not going to the Mets. So the Morosi bomb wasn't wasn't true. Interesting. All right, so we've been going for about 30 minutes. I definitely need to pick up the pace here. Jordan at first, and who plays right? That's the thing. If I put Jordan at first, we still need a backup outfielder then. which I still don't think we could get with Yuli Gurriel. And, I mean, we do have Bobby Bradley. So it's not like it's... Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, why is David Peralta in right? Who's in left? 
Adam Jones, Kittel Martin. Eh. How's Gregory Polanco doing? Holy cow, that was bad. Jesus. Um. JD Martinez with the Marlins. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Um. No, I don't want him. I want him. Yeah, you just Yuli Gurriel just doesn't have any trade value. So let's just see who we can get for Yuli Gurriel, and then we'll we'll move from there because I think that's kind of. I don't think we could get anybody that's going to be like worth trading for. Mm. We're going to have to package him with somebody. Uh, who is someone that I'm not going to use? Probably Seth Beer. Or Miles Straw. Realistically, I'm not going to use Miles Straw if we have George Springer. So we might be able to go for somebody in right field now. Um, Hunter Renfro? No. Uh, who are we going to get? Michael Conforto? How's he doing? Why is he in AAA? So that's taking his rating down. Call him up. He should be fine. Okay, so Conforto is definitely a possibility now. And then, so, Max Kepler? How's Kepler doing? 302 holy cow all right can we somehow throw someone in what about him no close that one was close um there's got to be someone here that they want um seth beer no okay so kepler not happening Jordan Luplo, not doing too well. Tyler Naquin. All right, so I think, what about Austin Meadows? All right, who did I say? Now I forgot who I said. Let's give Conforto a shot, and then we'll take someone from them. And then I think they will, I think we'll be fine here. Tom Smith. There, we'll do that. You always like Whit Merrifield. It's a decent option. All right, so now we got a bunch of players that we don't really need, huh? Where is Alvarez? All right, we'll definitely fix this issue that we got going on here. Mm, yeah, we can do that. Conforto's going to play in right for us. Jordan's going to move to first. And then we need to send down probably I don't know Carlos Asuaje. How's he doing? He's actually doing pretty well. Who's not hitting well? So we'll send down Villanueva. No, I didn't want to do that. We have one extra. Who gets the cut? That's the thing. It's got to be Kemp, unfortunately. I don't want to, but that's just what it's got to be. All the way from Israel. Holy cow. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. All right, Strum into the Mets confirmed. What did they give up? That's pretty big news right there. All right, so this is what we're going to rock with. Conforto probably needs to move up a little bit because it's versus a righty, but... With the way the lineup's so stacked, I don't know if it's really worth it. All right, so we'll leave it like that. Pitching's done. I like it. I like it for sure. Yeah, I like what we have here. Um. Okay, that's how we'll finish off the year. We'll see how the year finishes from here. All right, so if we can get like 85 wins here, which we won't. So we're, we're pretty set 
for the West because the West is kind of a weird division. They're either really good or really bad. So we should be fine. We're at 90 wins. We can finish with like 95. We should have at least a wild card spot, which we hit that. We actually hit 99. So we made it as a wild card team, which is crazy to think about. So who beat us in the West? That's that's a crazy thought. I'm not I, – I need to see who that – who it was the athletics 102 wins oh man all right so we're definitely gonna have to worry about that league leaders Altuve with batting average and Herman Marquez was good and then when we look at awards we got Altuve Jordan Alvarez and we got a Cy Young so that was good hold on Edwin Encarnacion was MVP 53 homers 109 RBIs okay all right. All right, let's take a look at our lineup. Michael Brantley, that's why I keep him. 280 average, about 360 on base percentage. Altuve did well. He hit 31 home runs. Are you serious? Okay, just a little bit of a power surge there. Correa did pretty well. Springer does well. Springer went down. Why? I don't understand that. He did. He did good. Everybody did really good. But uh, Kyle Tucker was a little bit on the downside, but he should develop. And then when we look at our bench, Carlos Asuaje was good. Dominic Smith was kind of a letdown, but we'll figure it out from there. Herman Marquez is looking really good. Um, Marco Gonzalez was good. Jordan Yamamoto is going to get better, so I'm not going to freak out just yet. Joe Smith is a little worrisome. Chris Savensky is probably a player I'm going to look to trade. Ah, man, the bullpen's a little sketch right now. That's worrisome. Could I have called? Oh, man. This is not good. Definitely, that's our problem. That's our bullpen. So, we're definite, we'll are we'll 100% try to change our bullpen. So, quick manage. Um, I feel like we have to go Marquez. I guess we'll go Cole. I guess we'll go Cole. All right, so they got Jonathan VR. That's a new one. They have Redick. Um, but, okay. Okay. Josh Redick had to do that. He, of course, just had to hit a three-run home run against us. Like, why Why wouldn't that happen, you know? And we're down 5-0. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's our season in a nutshell right there. There's no way we're coming back from that. Like, first and second one out. Yeah, this is just. All right, so we're done with Cole after five. We're down five runs. I just, I don't see us coming back. That's the thing. Unless we get like two or three runs this inning, which doesn't look like it's happening. A double play. Like, even when we get two guys on with no outs, we're getting double plays. So, it's it's bad. It's bad. I mean, we have 10 hits. So, that's 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 not a bad game hitting-wise. It's just we're not putting things together. All right. So, we have a home run. Carlos Correa. That's our only run of the game. That's rough. This That's just bad. That's not good. That's a bad way to lose. So, that's season one. Offense is there. Again, it's just as per usual. The Twins made it. Okay. The Twins made the World Series. It's just the bullpen. I feel like that was the bullpen and pitching. Big, big question mark. All right. No one retired. Justin Verlander, 100% getting traded. Um, and I just, realistically, I don't think anybody comes back. Oh yeah, so who did who did uh Toronto get for Strowman? Yeah, Strowman's to the Mets, but I want to know who Toronto got. I see a lot of talk about Thor in the chat. I just don't know who who they got. All right, 40 man's good arbitration wise. Let's let's uh let's get this set up. Oh, they haven't named the players yet? Okay. 
We didn't use... Did we use him? He hit 232. I'm going to trade him. We'll sign him, but we're going to trade him. That's what we're going to do. Chris Stavinsky was god-awful. So I'm going to trade him. Um, Max Stacy, Stacy, whatever it is. Mm, I feel like we can get a better backup, and I probably need a better starter. This is another part that takes way too long. This this is just ridiculous how long this takes. Do we need Aswahe? We have we have Kemp. He did really well though. Holy cow! And if anything, we can trade him. Let's do a let's do a two year deal. That's like if I can get him down to like three point five. That's good. Yamamoto's good. Francis Martez didn't even pitch. He's a 79. He's got really bad per nines. That's not good. You think it was a stupid move for the Mets? I mean, I don't under I don't really understand why they were trading for Strowman. Um, but I I guess whatever, right? That's a weird that's a weird trade for me. Tyler White, I don't really want. So, Dean Dietz, what a name. Let's try to trade him. Forrest Whitley. We'll let go of that guy. There's no point in paying him. Wheeler to Toronto. Po uh, that that might be possible. Yeah, that could be a possibility. But if they're saying players to be like named and stuff, did Derek Derek Fisher's got C potential all of a sudden. All right, whatever. If he's got C potential, there really is no point in keeping him. We'll just do that. No point in keeping him. Sogard got traded to the Rays during the game against them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing is, though, there's no point in holding off, especially when the trade deadline's just a couple days away. So. I understand why Sogard got traded now. Does he just walk across? Yeah. He just shows up to the stadium and just walks across. Just goes to the other uh the other locker room. <laughs> yeah, can you just clean out your locker room and take it to the other side? Sorry, man. That's just how it's gonna be. Brady Rogers. I'm gonna pass. Best friends? Oh yeah. Totally, man. Everyone, you know, we're all friends in here. Okay, so this this takes way too long. This shouldn't this shouldn't take so long. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right. I shouldn't be sitting here for, what, five minutes now just scrolling through players? Yeah, Kershaw's having a good month. The thing is, if you're going to put a stat in, you better make sure it's correct. So if you're just posting up some fake stats... I don't like that. They need an option where you can just sign all players. Yeah, that's true. Or like um like you can like select a player and like just do like offer this kind of contract. You know? I think that'd be kind of cool too. All right, so arbitration contracts are done. 
we definitely need to figure out this pitching situation. We, so we need we need bullpen. That was our big issue. The offensive lineup solid. That's that's we're set there. We got we got a good offense. It's the pitching. Um, we do need a catcher because we let go of Chirinos. Do we go for Grandal? Maybe, maybe. Let me take a look, see what's available here. Um, when am I gonna make a new farmers video? Probably to maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. It depends. With this uh, Stroman trade, it kind of makes me want to do something else. So, um, all you guys that have followed the stream or any other notifications, I'll get to them at the end of the stream. It's just I want to try to get through this all right now. All right. So, I appreciate those new follows so far. All right. So, we need pitching. The thing is, they're just old pitchers. And I don't really want Dallin Batances. What about Vizcaino? Let's give Vizcaino a one year deal. See if he takes that. Um, closing pitchers. Hold on. It's D potential. Mm. Starters. I think we're good on starters. I do want to trade Verlander. I do want to trade Verlander. Could we trade Verlander now and get something? Okay. Okay. I need. I need. I need like now players. That's the thing. Pretty far off on Savvy. Um, what about Snell? Pretty far off on Snell too. So I'm probably better just holding it off until the start of the season. Which does limit us, unfortunately, with who we can sign. So mm, that's tough. That's tough. Unless we somehow swindle them for like Max Scherzer, because for some reason Max Scherzer always does well. Ooh, that's not far off. Hold on. If I can get Hendricks and give me half the contract, I will one hundred percent take that. Um, who are we gonna trade to get Kyle Hendricks though? Nobody, because we don't have anybody signed to a contract. It's so dumb. Man. Okay, so we know we can trade uh, Verlander for Kyle Hendricks plus some other pieces. So now the big question mark is bullpen and catcher. Do we just go for someone who we know is like okay, like Jonathan Lucroy, or do we get someone big like Yasmani Grandal? That's really the only option. Um, there's no point in picking up anybody else here. Um... Let's take a look. See if there's any like people that didn't get signed with the, the draft. Gary Sanchez isn't a free agent, so there's no point. Um I mean he's there, but Grandal. What does he want? Fourteen a year. I'll do fourteen a year. And then we're gonna try to sign C check. We have Vizcaino. The thing is, we don't really have anybody else. Bowden's down there. I am also getting rid of some players. So let's see. We got to sign some prospects to fill up. Uh, it depends. What What is the link? A tweet about Bichette. If it's just saying he's getting called up to the bigs, there's no point in putting it in chat. We'll be fine. I mean, just ho just hold off on the, the links. There's no point in putting them in there. Oh, man. All right, so we offered Grandal something. We offered... I guess we'll offer this guy a contract too. Um, 
I'm just trying to fill out. So, okay, okay, okay. We'll we'll start there. We'll see what we can do with this. Grandal signed. Reach their maximum size. Yes, I would like to stop. So that means we got to cut people. Um, Romo to the Twins. Yeah, that was yesterday. All right, so did we get these two? I don't want those two. That's the thing. Who else did we try to sign? Vizcaino. Where is he? All right, we need to put a new offer in. Uh, so we got him in. Oh, man, it's just like C-Check's good. It's just I don't really want to pay him when we could potentially get someone through a trade. So we're going to hold off. We're going to hold off. All right, what do the Dodgers want? Joe Kelly for Chucky Robinson? I don't want Joe Kelly's contract. That's like $7 million a year for no reason. All right. Contracts. Who hasn't signed that I would want to bring back? No one really. All right. Contracts are there. These are good. What's look? What's our team looking like? Grandal's our catcher. So there's that. That's really the only change that we had to worry about. Everybody else is good here. Pitching rotation. We need to trade Verlander. Um, we just need some players to sign some contracts. All right, let's sim a couple more days, see if that works. I don't really want to see this trade. Let's keep going. All right, now let's see if we can trade Verlander that some players have moved on now. Or not moved on, but they've signed contracts. And then take Kyle Hendricks. And then I will give you... What about Mason? Mason's close, okay? And then there we go. Whew. Um, I'll talk, I'll talk a different... I'll talk soccer after after we finish this rebuild so give us some time um let's stick to the let's stick to the rebuild for now um mesa will not be here so i gotta i gotta put him in the minors put him in triple a and then we'll give bowden no i don't want to do that we'll try bowden we'll try james and that should fill out our our um our bullpen because there's no one that's good so that should that's that's that should do it all right we'll see if there's anybody available here there usually isn't the first year of interest no this is the second year i'll probably go three years for this just because we're doing this live All right, so we got all the all the players, all contracts sorted out. Let's just keep moving forward with it. We'll take a look at our lineup, so you guys can see lineups nice. I like I like what we have here. I think we're we're set. There's no reason to make any changes. There's no reason to make any like additions going forward. Like we're 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 solid. Uh, Stubbs can be our backup. That's fine. We got a good amount of lefties on the bench. The thing is. Oh yeah, this is uh not the regular season. So let's wait. Okay, so we're at regular season now. Let's see if any prospects snuck through. Sometimes there is. That's why I usually like to trade or check free agency every single time before the season starts. There's that there's usually like one or two that sneak through. Um, doesn't look like it. They did this time though. So 
lineups wise Stubbs, aswahe kemp who oh wow what happened there All right. Well, let's just send some players up. He needs to come up to the majors. So who... Oh man, this is a mess now. Martez, I don't really want Martez there. I do want to trade Davinsky. Davinsky is definitely a player I'm looking to move. Um, I guess we can... I don't really like Martez. His per nines are bad. And his stamina. But we'll give him a shot. I do want to trade Davinsky. And then lineups wise. I guess we trade like Kemp. Kemp and Davinsky for uh, just another bench bat or something. Or do we give Davinsky another year? I don't know. Let's do. Let's just trade Kemp for this year. See if we can get something. Um, in return, probably just look for. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just try to find a, a bullpen arm that we could possibly use this year or next year. That's not bad. Jacob Webb's not bad. Is he a lefty? He's not, but I'll take that trade anyways. And then can I just steal a little prospect off of you? We got a deal. Um. Okay, so now we should be fine. Three bench bats is fine. This is way too many pitchers, though. So I'm going to send down... Martez is just not a player I want to feature right now. Maybe next season. All right. Now we should be fine. No, I want Conforto starting. Um, Conforto should definitely be starting over Dominic Smith. All right. Boom. We're good. We're good. Hunter Wood to Cleveland? I mean, that's not really a big. Can you play No Love by Eminem featuring Lil Wayne? Why? All right. It's a banger. Maybe later. <laughs> All right. Scouting, I'm going to let it do auto. Because at this point, we're, there's no point in trying to bring in any any prospects they're really not gonna they're not gonna feature let's go to the deadline let's see how it goes fever at 102 yikes wow we're not we're not doing too well not doing too well at all holy cow maybe we get a, like a little late a little late Winning streak or something, because right now, four games over 500. Hmm. Still looking pretty bad. Hunter Renfro to the Athletics in this. Interesting. I'm probably going to have to trade France, Francis Martez. And we're going to have to get someone really good to help us out. Because, again... Like, I'm looking at this. Offensively, we're fine. It just looks up we're giving up a lot of runs, too. So, that's an issue. The sim needs to be faster. Um, I guess. It's not It's not terrible. So. Three moves during the stream. So, what do we have so far? We got Hunter Wood. We got Strowman. And who else? What was the other trade? 
Am I doing a video? I am. Ooh, George Springer. Might be time to part with George Springer. Unfortunately. Sogard. Sogard was this morning. Oh, we just paid. Oh. All right, pitching's bad. Pitching is very bad. Jesus. Um. Yikes. Yeah, you got to get out. Unfortunately, we got to figure out somebody else. Um. Hmm. This is rough. Man, that was bad. Whatever happened to our bullpen or our pitching coach or whatever it is, that is just garbage. So bad. Um. Tansis is bad. Hector Rondon, I bet you now that he's at somewhere else, he's doing really good. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't he do well? That's so dumb. Um, can I get him for like ap after the rebuild? Can I play Farmer State? Probably not. It'll just be for YouTube. Ah, man. Giovanni Gallegos is going down. How come? Coaching? Or what's going down about him? Every stat. I don't like that. That's worrisome. Yeah, the PC, yeah, my PC was just acting funny. Um, hmm. This is tough. A lefty? Do we need a lefty? We don't really need a lefty. I need someone who's going to help us win games, though. And apparently, there are nobody... Of, there is nobody available. Jeez, there are nobody available. If I can get him for cheap, I'll do it. Alright, so I can get him for something less than that. What about Kendall Mitchell Tree? Close. Thought it was Monday. It's not Monday. Bengal, what's the dot 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 for? What do you got to say? There are nobody. Yeah, I told you. I said it's. That's why I stopped myself because I knew, I knew what was what I said wasn't right. All right, Web, it's not good. Jesus, everybody's doing so poorly. Mm. Yikes. What about Seth Beer? Seth Beer doesn't even do it. Yikes. Uh, all right, we're not getting Amir Garrett, unfortunately. Let's see. Will Harris probably got like a .2 ERA. Yeah, 1.9. Jeez. Probably should have uh, signed him again, I guess. Juan Manaya. Back to back good years, but I can't I can't trade Bowden for that. Is he gonna keep this rating? Probably not. Do we need someone who's gonna help us win? A hundred percent. So we need something here. That's close. And Mesa. We're not gonna use those two anyways. Oh man, Garrett Cole's doing so poorly. What is going on? Alright, who can we get for Garrett Cole? Because apparently he just sucks now. Hmm, I might have to. That might have to be the trade I do. Hmm. 
Unless I get Joey Lucchese. Can't even get Kershaw. Oh, no. Hyunjin Ryu. Can't get him. All right, so this is going to be... It's cheaper, too, so if we need to get somebody else, we can. Budgetary problems. Okay. All right, who do they have that is making way too much money and doesn't should not be getting paid that much um nobody hmm i saw gritchick was getting paid 10 mil but i don't want to take that that's gross for five years hmm that's ugly what about david phelps david phelps and like uh, randall delgado all right cool all right we're figuring this out because that's like the only trade that's going to get done Seth Beer, because we're not going to use them. And then injury situation is holding us off. Are you serious? Peter Solomon, Brandon McCurry. All right, Peter Solomon. All right, let's take a look. David Phelps is not a starter. All right, so this is, this is fine now. It looks bad. It'll figure itself out. Um, Josh James is getting sent down. Bowden's getting sent down. We got way too many pitchers now. Holy cow. Training for Strowman. I, I found it fitting. Um, we need to move some people up to double A apparently. Not too sure what, but we're just going to throw players up. Okay. Josh James is struggling. We're going to send him down to AAA. The situation thing just means you don't have enough players on that specific team at that time. So it's probably like I didn't have enough players on AA, and I was trying to trade away AA players. So that's all it means. All right. We're going to try this. Hopefully it works. Man, I'm still not sold. I think this is going to be bad. But we're going to try it out. I don't, who knows? All right, let's see what we got draft picks wise. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Not even going to look at them because it was bad. All right. What are, are we in the standings? First by five games. So it's looking like our comp or yeah, our division's pretty bad. So let's take a look. Let's see how things go. So it's not in that position. It just means there's not enough players on the roster in general. So it would drop them below the 20, um, the 20 player limit. That's why they don't allow you to do the trade because it just means they'll go under 20 players for that double A, triple A, or MLB roster. All right, we should be fine. Won the division 102 and 60. So we probably won by a lot. Yeah, 15 games. What happened to the athletics? Why are they so bad all of a sudden? All right, Conforto and Bregman. Those are stats I want to see. We got Grandal, who won a gold glove all right so valdez did a lot better and it looks like the moves we made did did what they were supposed to um so that's good that's what i want to see martez do we give him a shot like yamamoto is it's he's not doing it, it he might be traded i'm thinking he's going to be traded um bullpen bullpen and starting rotation are solid or starting rotation is a little iffy. The bullpen was good this year. Starting rotation was a little iffy. Bobby Bradley might get called up next year. Think that might be the move. Why is Kyle Tucker in AAA? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Okay. 
I don't understand. I hate when the CPU does stuff like that. Only seven games and they send them down. I mean, the team did really well offensively. I mean, just solid. So let's see who we're taking on. The Indians. All right, that was easy. All right, let's try this out. Going against the Yankees. 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, two. All right, World Series Season 2. Who's pitching? Stroman? I don't know if I want Stroman pitching. He's got an 8 ERA in the postseason. I don't really know if I want him pitching right now. Oof. All right, let's try this out. Braves, Astros, Season 2 World Series. We're down to our final game. All right. Whew. Minute Maid Park. Marquez is on the mound. Did I win the World Series in Season 1? I did not. I got knocked out in the wild card game. So looking at the Braves lineup, Kiner Falefa's new. That's really about it. Um, they got Mad Bum. Okay. Interesting. L2 Van goes deep. Okay. Three, four. I like that. I like that a lot. Four run lead. Five run lead. So we're going to go. Unless something crazy happens, which is possible. Oh, I wanted to trade George Springer because he was decreasing. All right. That was um, Marquez's last inning. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, we'll do this. Perfect. All right. Double to start it off. Perfect. And then nothing happens. I love it. It's the best. It's fantastic. One run scores. Come on, Rendon. Um, let's go to Manea. Just as I say, things is going to, like, something crazy is going to happen. What happens? Home run. Tie ball game. I don't I don't understand that. Why? Things is gonna yeah, things is gonna get bad, Bengal, alright? I don't wanna hear it. I don't, what is going on? Playoff MVP, Jordan Alvarez. Six home runs, 340. Oh my God. That's so dumb. I can't believe that just happened. The bullpen was unreal this season. And then they just threw it away. That is, all right, let's do it. Let's see what we can do here. We'll give him a shot. Michael Brantley. We do have Kyle Tucker. It's Jordan. I'll I'll sit here and talk to you about it all day. It's Jordan. All right. Um, Brian Butterfield doesn't have good bunting. I might take that. Actually, we'll do Cora. See if he wants it. What do I think about Stroman getting to going to the Mets? I don't understand it, but what? It's weird. It all depends on what. I I don't know. I I think it's weird. That's what I think. It's just it's just a weird trade. I need a third base coach too. Jesus. Everybody left. They saw we just blew two postseason series and we're like, we're out. I don't want any part of this anymore.
Um, probably. I'll probably, yeah, that's most likely the plan. Probably trade them. For like, what was it, six mil a year? Juan Mineo. For like six mil a year, I feel like that's it's not terrible. Hint 250, what the? Energy, I'm not gonna, I, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that comment. Am I an Astros fan? I'm not. It's just this is the last team that I had to do for a rebuild. And I figured why not share the enjoyment of blowing postseason series year after year with you guys. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> What's my favorite team? I'm a Cubs fan. So, they, they, oh man, he needs, the, MLB needs to come up with, like, even something simple where they could fix that I don't have to scroll here for the next five minutes, that would be a huge improvement. But, this is rough. The Modesto Nuts, yeah, second favorite team right there. Actually, my favorite team currently are the Farmers State Hogs. If you guys are new to the channel, go check it out. I uploaded it yesterday. The Astros? I'm not an Astros fan. Are you just saying that's your favorite team? That would make a little bit more sense. Twins. Twins look pretty good. They look like they're the real deal now. Jays get Anthony K and Simeon Woods Richardson. Really? That's it? Cubs better not re-sign Madden after this season. The thing is, Madden is getting a lot of stick for a bullpen that is just underperforming beyond belief. So these blown saves, these blown um, outings by the bullpen, you, you can't put that on Madden. Could he have chosen a different pitcher at a different time? Maybe once or twice, but you can't expect your bullpen to go out there and blow every single game. Like it's just it's just not meant to be like that. So I feel like he's getting a little bit more of a, a little bit more stick than he should be. Who is our closer? Osuna. Kimbrel. Yeah, Kimbrel's looking pretty bad. He's looking a little a little rough. Um, we don't need anything. <laughs> the nerd, Eric Sogard. Rowan Wick did look good. Um, outfield. What do we, what do we got going on here? George Springer signed. So that's good. Did he sign? Yeah, he did sign. Um, what do we need? <laughs> I just need uh, Stroman to accept that contract. And then I think we're set. Starting pitchers don't look amazing. I'm not like really interested in anybody here. Robbie Ray always sucks. Will Harris. How do you get that much better, Will Harris? I don't understand that. You know what? How about I give you a year... Six mil? No. No, 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 no. Resident Sleeper? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pff, I'm not getting any coaches. 
Uh, the thing is, if you signed Kimbrel before the draft, they would have given up a pick. Three years, four. Oh my God, he's gonna be petty about this. Yeah, they would have given up a a pick compensation. Um, pitching clutch per nine break. I'm not really worried about break, so let's just. First base coach. All right. I guess we're not we're not gonna get a good hitting coach or whatever it was. And Stroman decided to go elsewhere, so now we're down a pitcher. I guess it's Frances Martez time. Um so we need a coach. He's not I don't need a coach that's good at bun bunting. I don't really care about that. The Red Sox are signing everybody, apparently. They got Real Matata. They got Stroman. I don't really want anybody here. So, yeah, it's looking like uh, what's his face? Martez is getting getting the call. What's more important for the Cubs this week? Getting another bullpen? Getting another bullpen arm. Also, the bats need to put up more than two runs a game. When was the last time you won a World Series in a video? It's been a while, dude. Why'd you have to bring it up? It's been a while. But, you know, everybody was complaining that I won too many World Series because I would, like, when I first started doing rebuilds, I would, if I didn't make a World Series at a certain year, every once in a while, I would, I would stop the, I would save the franchise, go back, and then try to win the World Series. Well, then people were complaining that, Oh, well, why are you doing this? You're a cheater. You, my God, I can't believe you would do such a thing. Why would you not just be, you know, whatever? Why would you not be authentic with your rebuilds? And I'm like, well, maybe because I just spent four hours sitting here trying to make a World Series team. And then the, I have a 120 win season and I can't make it past the first round of the playoffs. It's annoying. Stuff like that happens. You know what I'm saying? How long have I been streaming? Um, consistently, like two weeks. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade some of these guys. There's no point in keeping them. We're gonna go. We're going for broke this year. Um. Jordan Yamamoto's out. How's Sevy doing? Not as good as I would hope. Blake Snell. Lucas Giolito. How's Shane Bieber? Wow, I can't even get Shane Bieber. Yeah, so is this going to be five years? Probably not because we've already been going for almost two hours. And I don't want to I don't want to sit here for the next another another two hours essentially just so that we can finish this off Soroka man if it was year four Soroka would definitely be someone I'd be going after but it's just not good enough what about DeGrom um Nola could we get Nola mm, no we can't Luis Castillo Jesus Marco Hernandez, um, okay. What about Tyone? No. Man, who could I get? What about Walker Bueller? I know I'm not going to be able to get Walker Bueller. It's not even going to be close, yeah. What about Kyle Tucker? Ooh. 
Jesus. Oh, I think I need to. I think that's something that needs to happen. And then we're going to trade Yamamoto for a uh, extra outfielder. Because we got right field, center. And then, oh, we got Brantley. So I'm thinking about trading maybe S Springer and just get like a really good center fielder. Let's let's do that. We're, I, t I said we're going like for broke this year. Yeah, I know the uh, they traded for Stroman. Brian Reynolds, center fielder. Hmm. Senzel, no thanks. Who are we gonna who are we gonna acquire here? Who is gonna help us win a World Series? Ramon Laureano? Is Ramon Laureano gonna do that? I don't know. I don't think anybody else is really worth trading for in center field. They traded number four and number six. I didn't realize they were that high. I cannot get Ballinger. He's too much. Almora's too much. Ramon Laureano. Hmm. Let's. It's just. What did Springer do last year? He didn't do badly. I don't want to trade Springer. I don't know why I'm trying to trade Springer. What am I doing here? What do we need? Bullpen help? Probably bullpen help. Since. We just wanted to fall apart last year and absolutely suck. I don't know what that was about. Hmm. First baseman? I don't know, to be honest. I feel like we're set. We just don't need Jordan Yamamoto anymore. Yeah, we. I, I really don't know. Like, we don't... We don't really need anything. This is too much. It's too much responsibility right now. All right, let's figure this out. Walker Buehler is going to go there. I guess another fit, like a fifth starter. And just trade Gonzalez and Yamamoto. All right, let's do it. This is what we're doing. Can I get Chris Paddock? I cannot. What about Joey Lucchese? All right, like I said, we're clearing we're clearing the farm system here. What about holy cow? Who is this guy? No way, Matt Boyd's at eighty eight. That's a joke. Seeing this right here kind of hurts me after making that trade, but whatever, we'll survive. Wow. Okay, pretty far off on Luis Castillo. Pretty far off on Soroka. Barrios, pretty far off. Um, We need somebody. Who is that person? Joey Lucchese. There it is. Eduardo Rodriguez. I feel like I get him a lot. All right, we went for broke. We have no good pitchers anymore. So we'll we'll figure something out. All right, let's do it. This is the uh, this is the team of the year this year. Holy cow, the year, huh? Where's Jordan? I I mean, I don't know really to be honest. Correa needs to be there. We'll put Springer there. Yasmani here. Let's see. I mean, I feel like we should win like every game that we we have with this team. But we shall see. We shall see indeed. It's Jordan. I'm not having this argue, argument with you guys. All right. 
All right. We're going for broke. <laughs> Google it. Google it. I want to see you guys Google it. And I want you guys to see that it's Jordan. It's not Jordan. Of course, the trade happens when I decide to do this too. Because I could have done like a, a Strowman rebuild. but And of course, I just did a... What do the Reds want to offer us? Jonathan Holder for Chucky Robinson. How about no? It really should be Jordan, but it's Jordan. Anthony Rizzo to the Twins. What day is the deadline? The end of the month. Yeah, I saw who they got. All right. Of course, we get like good picks when we're about to finish this up. So, let's take a look here. I mean, the team is... I don't want him there, though. That's the thing. Let's put Bregman there. Let's put Alvarez here. Springer's struggling a little bit. What's going on with Springer? He's got 24 home runs. He's not struggling. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Springer's got some power versus lefty, so we'll bring him up in the lineup. Just thought it was weird to someone on stream and they aren't even there. What? Oh, you're talking about something else? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Yasmani Grandal's hitting 213. Huh? I'm sorry. What? All right. We need to bring up Bobby Bradley. Who's getting sent down? Villanueva is. Your Discord messaging me? All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Villanueva and possibly Grandal are getting traded. Thoughts on Kyle Hendricks? He's good. I think that's what that said. I'll take a look at what that said in a second. Um, Chance Cisco is awful. Yeah, he's not good. Kyle Schw oh, Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber today. He had a pretty good game. He had a pretty good game. It was about time. About time. I could have gotten Gary there. Hmm. Um. So who are we gonna get instead? Because all catchers suck. Salvador Perez. He's okay. He's okay. Um, Francisco Mejia. Are you kidding me? Ha! That's funny. Narvaez. Narvaez might be. Budgetary concerns. All right. Who do you want to send my way to make this deal happen? Man, your team is bad. Jesus. This is so bad. I'm not going to get. That's annoying. That was the trade I wanted, but it's not going to happen. JP Crawford's nasty. Yeah, if I was like 20 years in the future. <laughs> like, he's just, he's just not good right now. Um. And I don't need him, you know. Pedro Severino's an 86. I don't really, I don't really want him. I wasn't gonna make that trade. Will Smith, Fresh Prince. Um, realistically, I don't think we can make any trades unless I take on Zach Britton, which I probably don't want to. I don't. What about Carson Smith? Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
Danny, Danny's not really someone that does well in franchise, unfortunately. Holy cow, Juan Manea, get out. Jesus. It said 11. That said 11. 11. Oh, wait. Why is Bobby Bradley part of this? Uh, I wanted Villanueva. That's close. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen. All right. I think it's going to be Carson Smith, unfortunately. Oh, really? That's not going to be enough. What about Adovino? Really? We're not going to get any of these guys? Hmm. James Paxton. I mean, Brad Peacock, but I don't really want him back. And that's not even enough. All right. I guess we're not getting a catcher from the Yankees. Yeah. Danny Jansen's hitting 238. His potential's going down. It's just not worth picking him up. I think the only person we're getting is Salvador Perez. And then if I can, I guess, just, just keep him. Get rid of Manea. Or I throw him in and get a pitcher from them. But I don't think they have any good pitchers. Unless Lou Trevino's having a good year. He's not having a bad year. I guess we'll take Trevino. Alright. I guess that's, I guess that's what we're working with there. I don't really want Lou Trevino setting to... Jesus, our bullpen's so bad. Again. Why? We got to figure that out. We're going to have to figure something out. Was that Rondon that was bad again? Because he's probably out the door. We have a full lefty bench. Jesus. That's not good. Andujar's probably going to be traded. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, it's Vizcaino. What's what's up with Vizcaino all of a sudden? All right, we're gonna we're gonna trek forward. I have faith in the squad to do well for the rest of the season. Auto fix it, auto fix it, which means I should probably stop because they probably sent someone that I don't know. We still got our lineup. I was gonna say CP usually CP usually takes somebody away. Which is annoying. Oh, I can call somebody up. All right, Josh James. You're getting the call. Josh James. Do I want him in this spot? And then maybe move like this. We'll try it out. Okay. I mean, it's it's going pretty badly, which I don't like. But, I mean, we could p potentially lose our playoff spot if this continues. We need to win probably like what? Uh, we're good. 100 games, 100 win season. There's no way we don't make the postseason. Yeah, won the division too. Yeah, that's solid. All right, so 103 and 59, taking on the Indians. Let's see, league leaders. Jordan Alvarez, 53 homers, 151 RBIs. Gross. Runs, walks, what else? Awards. Mr. Jordan Alvarez, 53 homers, 151 RBIs, almost 300 average. I mean, those are kind of disgusting numbers. Jesus. All right, let's take a look. Brantley, I mean, it's a pretty standard Brantley season Bregman did really well 45 home runs <laughs> Jesus Oof. even Altuve is putting up 30 home runs a year I don't understand that Dominic Smith putting up 23 hitting 300 Conforto solid so yeah offensively we're really good it's just this is where I worry yeah. It's just not good enough. Who'd they send down? Vizcaino. 
I guess. Alrighty. Let's see what we do here. Uh, it all comes crumbling down right here against the, the Indians who have Blackman, Ryan O'Hearn, Derek Dietrich. Okay, Bregman goes deep, gives us the lead, but last time we had an early lead, we threw it away. So I don't want to get too excited. I did not see that he had his 1500th hit. Alright, can we score some more? Because I don't like having a one-run lead. I didn't even feel comfortable. Wow, I struggled on that. I didn't feel comfortable with a five-run lead. And as I say that, we give up the lead. It's just unreal. S Sim is just so, so bad in MLB. I got to take Bueller out. And this is where we lose the game, 100%. There's no way we hold on to this. Um... Eighth inning, can we do anything? Of course not. Why would we? Oh, man. I should have kept the lefty in. <laughs> this is so stupid. Thank God. Oh, man. Jesus. Really? Really? Seriously. First and third, one out. And we don't do anything with it. Thank God. There it is. Whew. Oh, my God. That was rough. That was just un unbelievable. Taking on the Yankees now. About to get knocked out as per usual. It's just what happens. Uh, actually, no. Kyle Hendricks can go. Double play. Love it. Um, they got Inciarte. That's new. Jay Bruce. And Wander Franco at short. Interesting. Alrighty. Chris Sale. Hmm. Interesting. Chris Sale on the Yankees. Yeah, you see that. A solid two hits in the game. I love it. Make that three now. Man, this game's enthralling. Can we can we get the sack fly in? There we go. Stanton batting eighth. Yeah, that's insane. All right, so ninth inning. Two-run lead, three-run lead. Oof. Four-run? Seven? Hold on. This is a completely different scenario now Kyle Hendricks has a complete game shutout four hits eight strikeouts Whew. I'll take that I'll take that for sure I I'm not yo Astro Nation I already answered that so I don't know what you want me to say like <laughs> Ooh, I should have sack fly there. Jay Bruce. Bengal, I did not see that. No, I did not. I did not see that you, he did. He got that hit today. And you have 101 fever. Man, that sounds rough. That sounds that sounds pretty bad, man. I hope you feel better. Jay Bruce is the reason we're losing two to nothing. We're losing because of two solo home runs to Jay Bruce. I, what? What? How? Uh, like right now? <laughs> Jesus, Healy. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that one. I like that one. Of course, we got lefty lefty. I like that one a lot. That was a good one. All right, I think the I think the season's over. And I'm dropping frames as I do it. All right, ninth inning. We got first and second, no outs. Altuve, you hit 30 home runs. You're also hitting 199 this postseason. I need you to do something here. Bases loaded walk matters. All right, ready? We're getting a grand slam right here. I'll take a run. I'll take a run. Sack fly, one run game with two outs. Oh, man. Stream's not dying anymore. Calm down. Like, why Why does it got to tease me like this? Why does it got to do this? Because I know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, Altuve was a bummer. 191. 191. Which is unreal. Just, I can't believe that. 191 in the postseason. That's disappointing. Overall, the team was pretty solid, though. Uh, Lucchese struggled. In the what? One hundred and sixty-two. So these three pitched really well in the postseason. Lutrevino, Rondon struggled. And so did Josh James. Holy cow. Oh, man. I mean, I like the team. Unfortunately, we couldn't win in Season 2. That was disappointing that we lost the World Series in Season 2. We were one game away from this from the World Series this year. So, it sucks. But that... I'm going to end the stream now. I might play later. I'm going to go eat dinner. But that's how this one's going to end. So, I appreciate all you guys stopping by. Um, I appreciate all those that followed today on Twitch. It's awesome. I like we were at like 40 or above for most of the stream for viewers. So I appreciate all you guys stopping by, hanging out while we did this live. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. I just appreciate all you guys stopping by. Um, I might stream a little bit later tonight if you guys want to see it. So other than that, appreciate all of it. Adios.